This guy is a question. He's dating a woman long distance. And his question is, so we're long distance and we've never met, but we are planning to eventually meet. Is it okay to watch Netflix or play video games with her during phone calls several times a week? Or will it cause a burnout? She has expressed high interest. And so did I. Neither party is highly insecure about the uh, intention to date. So I would say, as always, guys, first off, you should not be expressing that you have a high level interest in a woman when you first start seeing her. Again, I know that guys think that they got to make sure a woman knows exactly where he's at. But the real answer should be that you're getting to know her and you like what you've seen so far. But until you've seen her in person or spent more time together, that you're still trying to build up interest and see where you're at. And that should be how you do dating in general, because you rushing in and automatically assuming you have all these feelings inevitably is going to make women feel pressure. All right. Now, to answer his direct question, he's saying, should he spend time, you know, Netflixing and chilling with her or what, playing video games with her during the during the course of these several phone calls? So, first of all, you already know how I feel about consistently texting or calling a woman. I think excessive texting kills attraction. And I think there is a way of being there too much in the beginning, whether you're doing long distance or not. And again, I'm a guy that's experienced this where I've had women that I was dating long distance, that I was texting on every day and trying to call all the time. And after about a month or so, burnout. Even if we got to meet up, she goes away. I try to text her and call again some more, burnout, because that is too much time. So I would say this, if you're doing long distance, you're probably already texting probably every day, which it's long distance. So it, it, you're going to do what you're going to do, right? I think that you should be having once a week phone calls or, or uh, FaceTimes where you do that kind of thing. But you got to think about this, whether you're long distance or short distance from each other, women like men that look like they're on their purpose and they're doing things that are goal driven to get them to achieve various things. And a woman does not get that impression of you if you are consistently available for text, phone calls and FaceTimes. Even a woman that's far away and long distance and you're thinking, but she wants to see me, she wants to see me. This goes back to just because she wants something doesn't mean she should always get it. She may want to be able to FaceTime you every single day. That does not mean that that's gonna be the best way for her to actually go to attraction to you. Now, I'm already against long distance with the caveat that it's unless you guys are gonna eventually get to see each other on a consistent basis. So if you were seeing her in person like, for long distance purposes, once or twice a month, I would say that good for you, go ahead and pursue that. If this is like, you're gonna eventually meet her and then you don't know what's happening after that, then I would say meet her in person. You know, I don't know if you're gonna spend like a week or so with her or not, but spend that time with her and really start to feel if you could see this building into a potentially long-term thing, at which point start having those conversations about, so hypothetically this works out, Am I moving to you? Or are you moving to me? Like we're probably months away from that, but like, what would that hypothetically look like? Because women will talk, tell you early on if they are interested in potentially moving towards you, which is ideally what you want to have happen. So anything where she says like, oh, well, you know, I have a job that I do, but I could do that job anywhere. Or I'm a teacher, I'm a lawyer. I can practice law. I could do teaching in your area. Or I have my own business at home that can move anywhere. Like these are the things that you want her of her own accord to bring up which will let you know that should this work out, she's actually willing to move. But I'm telling you now, I have done long distance where I didn't want to move because I like California and the other person didn't want to move because they like where they're at. And no matter how much goodwill we have between us, the reality is those situations were not going to work because in terms of a long term relationship, you don't want it to be long distance. You want it to be where you're close to each other. Even if you always, ideally you're living together, but even if you guys live in the same city in different apartments, that's still closer than thousands of miles away by plane, you know? So, but to answer your question, uh, for now I'd say, try to do like a once a week thing where you're doing gaming. If you have something like Nintendo online or Xbox, maybe you play like once or twice a week, but don't overextend because you wanna really get to see her in person first before you start trying to do those kind of things, at least in my experience. So hopefully guy, that helps you out. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are go. high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class.